Hi everyone, my name is Emma, I'm the chef of Aquavit. I'm going to show you how to put together what we call our Swedish version of cinnamon buns. We have AP flour, so this is what we're going to start. I melted the butter already on the stove. I'm going to add the milk to the butter. And this should create a perfect temperature for uh, the yeast to be the salt that I'm using fresh yeast uh, dry yeast is uh, works as well All right, so We're gonna add our yeast in here and dissolve that it's, just, it's easier to get it incorporated into the bun if you dissolve the yeast in the liquid uh, beforehand it will make the dough rise uh, more even and uh, since it's already room temperature or body temperature in here, it's also going to kickstart the proofing process of the dough. Alright, so we're dissolving that and then we have our sugar. I'm using uh, raw unbleached sugar, I find that better. We'll add that in here. It will create the sweetness, but it also makes uh, food for the yeast. Okay. It should all be dissolved. And then we have our flour here, and we have our liquid. I'm gonna make a hole uh, in the flour, and I'm gonna put the liquid into the middle, and then I'm gonna slowly work it in. We'll add this. In the middle, scrape it out. And then we'll start mixing it. So it's slowly gonna get harder and harder to mix with the spatula. So I'm gonna go over using my hands in just a little second. I'm gonna try and keep them from getting too sticky. Get our hands in there. So making cinnamon dough, you kind of want it to start creating uh, some gluten. So we're going to have to knead this for a little while. So I'm going to make sure it all comes together. I'm also going to crack an egg in here. And then I'm going to take it out on the bench and I'm going to keep kneading it. Uh, probably for 5 to 10 minutes until I feel like there's a elasticity to it. So let's crack an egg in here now because it's setting up. And this is definitely where you can get your workout in for the day. just want to keep going I would say minimum five minutes if you have a bunch of little hoppers little kids in your house you can divide it up into a little bit smaller portions and they can help out maybe all right so it's coming together and halfway through what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of salt we'll do a teaspoon And then we keep on working. I'm gonna work that in. All right, so the dough has been kneaded five, six minutes. Definitely a workout. We're gonna add some uh, black cardamom. It's the little seeds inside of the green. It would make a Swedish cinnamon bun. So we're gonna add that to the dough. It would probably be easier to do that from the beginning, but I, uh, I kind of forgot. So. It will just be a little bit more work for me, so we'll just keep on kneading for a little bit longer. So I'll knead this in for a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna put the dough uh, to the side under a towel so it can rest for probably around 30 minutes uh, until we're gonna roll it out. One of my little towels. Put them to the side, 
All right, so while we wait for the dough to rest, we can make the filling for the cinnamon buns. Have some butter. Uh, I like to use unsalted. And then we're gonna add some sugar. Most of the time I do a ratio of half sugar to butter. Which I think that was it. Okay. And we are also going to add some cinnamon. I like cinnamon, so I'm going to go a little bit heavier. Just going to mix that together. Try and use uh, room temperature butter so you don't uh, melt it because you want, uh, you want it to turn into a spread. So that when we put it on top of the cinnamon buns or inside of it, it doesn't come out. So it looks um, super easy. So we have our dough. It's uh, been proofed a little bit and relaxed. And I'm gonna roll it out. Unfortunately, uh, I don't own a rolling pin. I should have got one. But um, I'm improvising, so I'm gonna be using a, uh, <laughs> a wine bottle. All right, so we're gonna be rolling this out. You make do with what you have in your house, right? That's what you gotta do. All right, so we have our dough. I think I'm gonna cut the dough down a little so I have even edges. The dough that you cut off, you can definitely let it relax a little bit again. And uh, you can re-roll it and uh, make some more. So we're gonna spread the filling out. All right, so filling, and then I want to do a traditional cinnamon bun. There's many ways you can you can do a knot, uh, you can tie them, you can do different kind of versions like that. But I'm gonna do just a traditional big cinnamon roll. All right, so we have our roll, our pans cut. So remember that it's already partially proofed already, so it doesn't need that much longer now. I think maybe 30 minutes. Perfect, look at that. Six and six. I'm gonna leave these to proof. Uh, not double in size, but maybe a, a third bigger. We'll leave them under a little bit of plastic wrap. This is our cinnamon buns. They've been proofing on the wrap, so we'll take that away. And then we have some N1 uh, egg. We'll whip it up a little. I wish I had a brush. I don't have a brush at home. There's so much stuff I don't have at home. So we're gonna improvise a little bit. I have a little baby spatula here. So we'll cover them in the egg. To make them extra Swedish, we have this sugar called pearl sugar, and it doesn't melt. It stays nice and crispy. If you wanted the real Scandinavian Swedish feeling to it, this is, this is it. And I like a lot. It's not as sweet as sugar either. So it's not gonna come off that sweet. All right, so this is our buns. I'm gonna put them in the oven, 325. All right, so our cinnamon buns are ready. They took a little bit longer than I thought, around 25, 26 minutes, uh, but they are ready to be pulled out. So let's have a look. All right. It smells amazing. All right, so baking at home, baking at the restaurants are definitely two different things. 
what I've learned from doing things at home is to not be so hard on myself. It's the flavor, the count uh, above anything. Um, or so I tell myself. Um, so this is what they look like. I must say I'm pretty happy. Let's try it out. The thing I, I love with this dough is that it's a little bit more gooey and um, yummy than a lot of doughs. It's very easy to make it too dry. Um, so it's a little bit harder to work with, which you probably noticed with uh, all the effort I had to put into um, kneading it. But it's definitely worth it, worth it in the end, I can promise you that.